What is up everyone, I am Techlore and welcome to the channel. I got a request from a user asking how they can encrypt their files securely across multiple operating systems and I thought it would make an excellent video. So very simply, think of file encryption as locking up a file in a cage, no one is able to modify it, or even view what it is unless you have the key to open it. This ensures only the people you desire to view or tamper with a file have access to do so. To do this, we're going to be using a free open source program called Veracrypt. I'll be demonstrating the setup process on Windows 10, but the process is the same on all operating systems, and I'll demonstrate accessing the volumes on Mac OS X and Linux later in the video. Upon installing Veracrypt, you may be very confused at first, but let me break this down very quickly. To create a new encrypted file, just create a volume. Create an encrypted file container, most of you will only need the standard Veracrypt volume. Select a name and location to store the file. Most of you can keep the default encryption algorithm, then set an amount of space you want your file to be. To make this easier for you to visualize and understand what's actually going on, imagine Veracrypt is creating a file acting as a USB volume. You're creating the size of this USB right now to store files in the future. So let's just say we're planning to store a few text documents, then let's just create a 20 megabyte volume. If you're storing an ISO, maybe you can make a 10 gigabyte volume or something even larger. Create and confirm a password. Make sure this is a highly secure and you either remember it or I'd recommend using a password manager. I will leave a video here on the screen and in the description in the future someday, hopefully soon, showing a free, secure, and open source password manager for you guys to use. After your password is in, no joke, just keep randomly moving your mouse around on the screen until the bottom of the bottom turns at least green. There is, in fact, a purpose to this. An extra tip, if you don't know how much space you want your volume to be, you can make your volume dynamic by selecting this checkbox, which will keep increasing the size of the volume if you add more storage than it can handle. However, transfer speeds will take a drastic hit if you do this, so it's recommended to have a preset amount and not go the dynamic route if you can. Click Format, and you are good to go. Now, you will see the encrypted volume in the location you selected to save it, hopefully, you can put this file anywhere you want, and no one will be able to access it unless they have the password to view it. If you want to access the file, or add and modify the volume, simply mount it in Veracrypt, and it will open the volume in a File Explorer window. We can perform the same exact process in OS X to access this file, as well as in Linux. There are third-party apps for iOS and Android as well, which claim to also let you access the volume on the go, but these are not officially from Veracrypt, so I will not show them in this video. That is everything, guys. If this helped you out, please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more security and privacy-based videos. If you have any questions or have a video request, please either leave a comment or you can submit it through my website. Don't forget to follow me on Snapchat and on Twitter, and I will see you all next time on TechLore. Have a fantastic day.